What is up, Pittsburgh Steelers fans? It's IndyCar Tim here with your Black and Gold Daily Blitz for today. It is Sunday, August 11th, and the Steelers' first preseason game is in the books. Uh, Scoreboard-wise, not really what you wanted to see, I don't think. 20-12 to loss to the Texans, the resurgent Houston Texans. By the way, how weird is it to think the Texans are good again? It's been a while, hadn't it, over in the AFC? But... You know, things we were looking for as far as the first preseason game goes, I think we saw some good things. Uh, Obviously, need for improvement in some areas. Wanted to focus on today one of the good things uh, as Justin Fields gets the start. Russell Wilson still, of course, uh, nursing that calf injury. You know, and you hope as a calf injury it doesn't linger. Uh, Because those have been known to do that. And for the calf injury that he had for it to keep him out as long as it did, look, and I know it's just training camp and blah, 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 but it's his first year in this offensive system with Arthur Smith. And I would think if there was any possible way Russell Wilson could have gone, they were going to make him go in the offseason or the preseason or the training camp. It's easy for me to say, but especially here during the preseason. And I know there's a couple more games to go and we're probably going to see Russell Wilson, but. Just make a little mental note. That calf injury is concerning me just a little bit. Remember how bad Joe Burrow's calf injury was, uh, how long it kept him out. And I'm not saying it's the same injury or that's going to happen to Wilson, but I'm just saying put that in your mental filing cabinet and let's uh, let's monitor that situation. But as far as the game against the Texans goes, uh, Justin Fields, I thought, played very, very well. I was pleasantly surprised. I'm not a Justin Fields guy. Did not uh, think he played well in Chicago. I was not a fan of his at Ohio State. Before C.J. Stroud came along, we didn't have any indication that that quarterbacks at Ohio State could translate to the NFL. It just never happened. Ever. Go back as far as you want. (laughs) It just never happened. Um, And C.J. Stroud certainly recently has, has... bucked that trend uh, and good for the Texans and good for Ohio state. But uh, you know, Justin Fields never occurred to me as a, as a great potentially great NFL quarterback, but he does have skills. He's got some raw skills for sure. Some football IQ and things like that. He's no dummy, but he, uh, he needed to show the team and the fans and everybody something I think on Saturday. And I think he did just that. The problem here is, Pretty much everything great that he did in the preseason game has gotten overshadowed by the snap exchange debacle. Uh, Two fumbles on the same series between Justin Fields, the quarterback, and his center. And, you know, they changed – I don't have the names in front of me. They changed centers, and that – the exchange looked a lot cleaner. I can't remember who started. I probably should have had that for you guys. Uh, I think it was Nate Herbig. Herbig was the first one. The one he was having issues with was Nate. Um, But they took Nate out and brought in somebody else. I can't remember who it was. And uh, that it was fine. So the, the, the funny thing is when you have a center quarterback miscue on the, on the snap like that, a lot of people want to blame the quarterback. And you really don't know who's to blame, you know, because you're not there. You can't see the exchange close up. You don't know if the if the snap was early and the quarterback wasn't expecting it. You don't know if the quarterback just didn't have his hands placed properly. Obviously, Herbig and Fields have no chemistry with each other other than how they've dealt with each other in the pre or in the uh, training in training camp and offseason. So it's it's tough to say whose fault it was, but socially and media wise, it always falls on the feet of the quarterback. Uh, And you know what? That's probably okay. Just like, you know, quarterbacks are usually graded by wins and losses. Well, it's a team sport. It's not always the quarterback that can win the game and lose the game. Although there are times, but certainly, you know, all of this doesn't fall on fields, but I thought his, his play gets overshadowed by that issue that, you know, if it was just one fumbled snap, I don't think we'd be talking about it as much because you're like, hey, it's preseason, right? But when you have two like that in the same series, especially with the limited playing time that Fields got in the game, I think it's more noticeable, it's more prominent, and people talk about it more, and here we are. That's what we're doing. But for the most part, I thought Fields played very, very well. 
Uh, he went five of six for 67 yards. At one point, he was five for five on that drive um, before a, a late uh, incompletion. He showed his playmaking ability. He showed his feet, uh, shows what he could do. And um, Tomlin commented after the game on the exchange issues. He said, quote, I thought Fields did some nice things, but obviously he was a component in the quarterback center exchange. And from my perspective, that's dual responsibility on the center and the quarterback. It negated a lot of good things going on in those first couple of drives, end quote. So the first fumble between the two occurred as right as the Steelers were crossing midfield. Uh, and of course, it caught, I think they lost four or five yards on that before uh, the Steelers recovered the ball. Um, so it cost them some valuable yardage in the on the plus side of the field. Uh, but the second fumble, uh, it was it was recovered by the fullback. Was it Jack Jack Coletto? I think was the the fullback that recovered that. Totally disrupted the rhythm of the drive. Uh, it pretty much stalled the drive. But you know, despite those setbacks, I thought Fields looked well, looked good. Uh, he led the team well, um, and he took responsibility for those miscommunications. Um, but I think overall, if you're one of those in the Steelers camp and, and on the on team Fields as far as a starting quarterback, I think you know your case maybe was made a little stronger. And the issue is Fields has or uh, Wilson hasn't taken the field here. So if you're on Team Wilson to be the starter, you don't have anything to to argue about, you know, or argue with on your side because we simply haven't seen him. And I think that hurts Wilson's case, especially if uh, Fields continues to look good here in the in the preseason. Uh, I don't know. We'll talk about it on the show here next week before the uh, Steelers meet the Lions next Saturday. But I don't know if Field, if uh, Wilson's going to be ready for the Lions game. And if Fields comes out and has another good showing, and especially if they uh, can clean up the uh, center quarterback snap exchange, then I think Fields is going to have a real good argument, a real good case to be the starter for week one uh, at Atlanta on uh, September 8th. So good things from Fields for sure. Thought uh, everything went well for him other than the snaps. Kyle Allen took over, your third-string quarterback. He went 17-23 to 23 for 193 yards. Uh, the Steelers got 344 total offensive yards, which is great for a preseason game, especially when you're um, splitting the time here between the quarterbacks. But, uh, you know, there was some miscues that, that cost the team clearly that resulted uh, directly in that 20-12 to 12 defeat, that eight-point loss. But again, it's preseason. You don't care about wins and losses. You want to see uh, stuff on the field. You want to see some progression. So it is what it is. We'll move on for the Lions here coming up this week. We'll preview that for you a little bit and give you some updates on uh, whether or not uh, Wilson may or may not play. As soon as I can get some word from camp about that, I'll, I'll bring that to you here on uh, on here on FanStream Sports as well as over at allsteelers.com. Make sure you check out allsteelers.com for all of our great content uh, surrounding the Steelers in this preseason, this offseason, heading into the 2024 season. I am Indy Tim. We'll do it again. Make sure you follow us on FanStream Sports, fanstreamsports.com. Download the FanStream Sports mobile app. Uh, find us on FanStream Sports TV, which is our YouTube channel. Can't miss it. Just go search for it, subscribe, click that bell so you get all the great notifications of our great content over there. Uh, I am IndyCar Tim. Follow me on social media at IndyCar Tim. We would love to hear from you. Either comment here on the video or find me on, on the X. And let me know you watch the show and you're a fan of the Steelers. Let's talk about it. Uh, I'll be back later this week. Until then, boys and girls, we'll see you.